four days before the big run and we get a special announcement from the creators. It says, be prepared for a cold race day. If you've seen the forecast for Sunday's race day, you know that we are expecting a cold morning. While the Napa to Sonoma Half Marathon is a rain or shine event, we wanna make sure that you are prepared for the conditions and expectations on race day. Oh man. What's going on guys and welcome back to Stowers Does It All and today you're gonna witness my journey through the Napa to Sonoma Wine Country Half Marathon and I am both extremely excited and extremely nervous. Yo, but Stowers, you've done half marathons before. Why is this a big deal? That is a great, great question, other me, and the reason why is because it's going to be raining. And I mean, not just raining, I mean like raining the entire run, the entire day, and it will be, it'll be cold. It will be cold. Now, to be clear, I have done a half marathon before and I've also run in the rain before. I just have never run a half marathon in the rain. <laughs> the furthest distance I've ever run in the rain was like maybe, I don't know, like three miles, five miles or so. I don't even think that. So this would be kind of new for me and I've heard other runners talk about their first time running in the rain and the, like this huge experience and stuff and how cold it was and your socks get wet and all that jazz and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, cool. I'll never sign up for something that'll be taking place in the rain. <laughs> but nevertheless, we're excited to get things going. I did the Golden Gate Half Marathon last month and I was invited to be a part of this run. So we will get things started in less than 12 hours from now. I will be running from Napa, California to Sonoma, California. It all starts at 7 a.m. at the Cuveson Winery in Napa. Cuveson sounds so fun to say. Cuveson, Cuveson, Cuveson. And then from there, we will begin our 13.1 mile voyage all the way over to Sonoma in 50 degree Fahrenheit weather while raining. Yep. Now normally I would get drone shots. Not gonna happen. If you've seen my other videos, you know I also run with the DJI Osmo Pocket. Also not gonna happen. So as a last minute substitution, bam, I brought in the GoPro Hero 10. I've only run with this thing like two times. So hopefully it compares to the DJI Osmo Pocket, but you'll see a review on that later. Let's get on with the other gear. If you don't know, the electrolytes that I always get during my run is from Liquid IV. If you, Liquid IV, if you're watching this, dude, by the way, you guys are great, loving your stuff. My Saucony endorphins are the shoes I normally run in, but those have now reached about 500 miles. So I also switched in, boom, the Saucony Endorphin Pro 2s, but these are probably gonna get destroyed in the rain. So yeah, there's that. And last, my other savior is the Spring Energy Gels. If you don't use these, you need, to, you need to start. They're great. The one thing I don't know what to do exactly is how to dress. Yes, windbreakers, that's an obvious one. Um, I get really hot on the runs. According to that same email, they recommend that you layer, layer, layer. Do your best to cover your entire body to protect you from the cold air. Wearing an extra layer of clothing that you no longer care about and can discard along the route, such as pants, an old sweater, and a water-resistant jacket can be a good idea. Yeah, I don't have those. I do have a jacket that I'm probably gonna tuck in just like how I did for the Golden Gate half. So I will probably just layer up and just tuck things as I go. And I'm just gonna have like a flag full of random stuff behind me as I go, cause I can't toss anything. Probably gonna have a running hat uh, to keep the moisture from getting into my face. And uh, yeah, we're, yeah. <coughs> <coughs> that cough you just saw, I'm a little bit under the weather now. So hopefully, I can knock this little cold or whatever I have out and I'll be good to go by tomorrow. Now I've never been to Napa or Sonoma, but here's my plan. I'm gonna wake up and have my ritual breakfast of a cream cheese bagel with a banana on the side. Runners, out of curiosity, what is your running ritual before you go do a big run? Let me know down in the comments. After that, I grab all my hydration stuff and electrolytes and then it's technology, phone, watch, AirPods, Osmo, just kidding, GoPro. And then we're off on I-5, east on Highway 12, hit I-80. Then before you know it, we are in Sonoma, California waiting for our shuttle. Coffee, 
ladies in the first tent. Bathrooms are at the back of the building. And then you'll pick up your t-shirt after the run in the wine festival area. Okay. That'll be your ticket to it. Okay, yep. thank you. Uh, safety pen? Yes. Yeah. I know. All right, what's going on guys? What's going on? Uh, we're about to get things started. It is currently 6.31 and it is raining like crazy. I got my bib number. We are number 3504. It's a little dark outside, not a lot of light here. Um, so apologize if it looks a little bit grainy, but uh, we're about to get started and there's a lot of people had bag check in. So I'm gonna put this on and we'll get that going. Awesome. We have one of our runners here today. Can you tell, tell us your name? My name is Amy. Awesome, Amy. And uh, how many half marathons have you done before? Uh, this will be my third one. I did my first one back in uh, July at the Santa Rosa half. Oh, okay, cool. How many runs have you done in the rain? This is my very first one. Me too. Awesome. We're twinning today. Yes. <laughs> Awesome, so we're here with the two hour pacing from Beast Pacing and we have our major guys here. What was your name? I'm Don. Don? And I'm Caitlin. And Caitlin. And hopefully I'm going to try to stay with them today. <laughs> I'm not going to try to PR. Today is just about surviving and watching out for potholes. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> finish up the national anthem I think we're about to get things started so let's go because the rain is picking up and we're all shivering so let's get it oh hear the music it's action time Back up yeah, to the two, two, ball, two hour pacing. Had to tie my shoes, slow me down. Uh, let's get back in there. in the rain. <laughs> That went up my nose. <laughs> Alright. Hi. How are you guys feeling? Great. How many miles in are we? Five. 5.4. Alright. Still feeling good? Feeling great. Lovely.
we are at 6.3 miles, which means we have officially crossed the halfway of a half marathon. So, doing pretty good. Feeling a little sluggish, but upward and onward. about to enter the eighth mile and I don't know what sweat, brain, or the, the noon drinks that I keep spilling all over myself. <sighs> Let's get it. one miles left aka it's just a 5k baby <sighs> can you feel it in the air the clouds are rolling in it's a matter of time dark skies and howling winds the sun is coming gone come on man Chaos is coming. Finish strong. It's gonna rain. All done, guys. What do you got to say? What's going on guys? We just finished up the Napa to Sonoma half marathon and honestly like my body is cold more than it is tired. <laughs> We're gonna go do some wine tasting. Let's go head back and see what kind of wines we have over here. We have the 2019 Carneros Pinot Noir. I farm this all organically myself. I'm the owner, winemaker, grape grower, tractor mechanic of Tropical Pinot Wine. The four wines that we're pouring here today, we have a Sauvignon Blanc from Sonoma Valley. We have a Chardonnay from Russian River. from? Orlando, Florida. Yes. Awesome. And how was the run? Well, there were a few hills for us, yeah. but, but it was great. Yeah, because Florida doesn't have hills. We liked the vineyards. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. It was and, you know, just all the support from the community is just awesome. And we need that right now. All right. Awesome. All right. And we Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> 
are here with the winery coordinator. Do you want to tell us your name? Jeanette Younger. Awesome. So can you tell us a little bit about this race? It's my first time doing it and I want to come back. But what, what can you tell us about the race? This race has been going on for over 10 years and we're really excited to have all the runners from all over. Um, it's been going on again for many years and we put on a wine festival after the race and everybody gets really excited about tasting great Sonoma wine. Awesome, great. I will be back. So this is just one of many, so cheers up. Cheers. Awesome. To many more. See you guys next time.